Basque language is TXOKOS. And what that means is a kind of a secret underground gastronomic brotherhood, which is very um, common in the Basque country. They weren't allowed to be Basque about a hundred years ago. So they had to kind of go underground to eat their food, speak their language, dance their dances, and they're very, very popular today. They're, they're like someone literally has to die in order to get into one of these chocos. Um, that's how serious they take their food. Um, I'm currently the chef and owner of Spanish River Grill in New Smyrna Beach. Some of you guys have been there, some not. Hopefully I have. Some will come. Uh, we've been there for about 13 years. We're on our 14th year. And it's predominantly kind of uh, Spanish, and it's kind of progressed as I've kind of learned and, you know, progressed as a chef. Um, this is going to be a really cool concept. In the Basque Country, every, when I was in the Basque Country just last October, every freestanding house had, which they call atacheas, every freestanding house had a garden. Every single one, no matter where you were, no matter how big the city was, whatever, every house had a garden. And we kind of feel that this is going to be a hatache here, and we're going to have a garden for our restaurant here. Um, it's going to be a small, smaller menu, changing frequently, because we're going to have just tons of stuff at our disposal here to use. Um, one of the cool features of... One of the things in some of the restaurants in the Basque Country is they have asadors, which means just a grill. So we're going to have a patio. It's going to be a covered patio. And in, in the patio is going to be a, a, a pretty cool grill made by Grill Works. And it's going to be a wood burning grill. We'll be able to do some chuletas, which is the Basque uh, steak, the big 